Hello, it's Bob here in the Dean's Office in the College of Engineering at the University of South Florida on day 14 of Operation Engineering, how are you doing? And I hope this message finds you and your loved ones healthy and safe. Today's an exciting day. This afternoon we have a uh, town hall to attend to, sponsored by the President and the Provost and, and others. Looking forward to that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a walk. We're going to walk around the, the grounds. Chris Taylor is going to give us a tour, show us how things are, are going around the buildings and out back uh, in the shop. We're also going to get a chance to see where our mail is, where all the packages are stacking up. So let's go. Let's journey together. Okay, here we go. It's nice and humid. There's Chris waiting for us down there. Wearing his uh, mask and his gloves. Making sure we follow the protocols. We keep everybody safe and healthy. Hey Chris, how you doing? Wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's take a tour. Let's see how we're doing out here. I'm gonna keep my distance. Definitely. All right. So what are we doing? Well, given the uh, the status that we're in right now, uh, operating remotely, uh, we found that there are several labs that could not fall into that category. So they're still operating, maybe with the skeleton crew, nonetheless, they're still operating. With that said, facilities and safety department still has to be here to support. And that's what we are. But I wanna take this time to kind of show you a little bit more about what we do. So I brought you out here to let you see that um, College of Engineer Facility and Safety does have several vehicles that we're responsible for and we make that available to anyone, any of the seven departments in the College of Engineering so that they can do whatever research they need to do or whatever it might be. Along with that, further down we have uh, we have uh, quite a few golf carts in the same situation as you might find me. So uh, we support everyone in the College of Engineering in that aspect. Who maintains the uh, vehicles? We do. In, the, in our shop? Actually, we do, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you fund the bill. There you go. I so, fund it, you fix it. Well, we take care of it. Oh, and, uh, yeah. We utilize the, the shop on, on, on campus. Okay. And if they cannot support us, we'll go off campus. Okay, nice. Looks like you have uh, pickup trucks, yeah, you have a van. Now, many of these vehicles, and there are others, this is not all of them. Many of these vehicles were acquired to do research, a specific research. As that research and if they don't uh, move into another type of research, I'll, I'll, I'll approach the owner of the vehicle and say, look, we'll be glad to take it off your hands. We'll take care of it. If you need it to get your research going again, it's there for you, but now it's available to everybody in the college. A very engineering oriented solution, very practical. Very practical. And it's the same situation with the golf cart down here. We've even um, made a little expenditure to uh, put a, a little shelter there for the golf cart to help to uh, keep them uh, out of the weather, so to speak. And uh, we've done some modifications to the driveway, the loading dock for receiving. So this is the loading dock for receiving and uh, all packages come to us. That's being, anything that's ordered for the College of Engineering, this is the mail stop. So, even though we're operating remotely, uh, there are still packages coming in. So my receiving clerk is still in there uh, receiving packages and he delivers it to the department as, uh, as they come in. Very nice. So you're still receiving packages every day? Yes, we are. Now, if, if there's no one available to uh, to deliver the package to, we will hold it. We, we will um, take, well, let me show you. First of all, 
So, as you see here, we have several packages that has not been able to be delivered because there's no one there to receive them. By the way, come on in. By the way, you see equipment in the background there. That's, we also support the college as far as um, uh, disposing of old equipment. So they're required to put, put it on this serve for three days. And if no one decides that they need it, we dispose of it. So that's what you're looking at right here. These are the packages coming in. And for the students that uh, from computer science that had the, the robot shipped out to them, them to uh, perform their, uh, I don't know if it's capstone or whatever it might be, they're shipping that back in. We're gonna put it here, quarantine it, until we open back up and disposition it at that point in time. How do the faculty and staff know that the packages are here? Do they have a... Once we receive it, uh, let's go this way. When the packages come in, um, we, we made a little makeshift barrier here for, for Justin. Justin is our clerk now receiving the package. Hello, Justin. Hello. So you see the wand he has in his hand. Yes. When the packages come in, he scans it, and that enters it into our database, and that in turn sends a notice out to the person that ordered the package to tell them that the package had been received in. Oh, very good. Excellent. So that's... That's the chain of events or handoff or whatever you might want to call it. So Chris, how are things going uh, with facilities? How are, we, uh, are we having the opportunity to do some updates, some upgrades? We have the opportunity to do some extra cleaning? Uh, we're, what's going on? We're doing quite a bit. Um, first of all, I want to, um, this mask is really hot. <laughs> well, we got to be safe. <laughs> uh, I want to, um, our, our safety personnel isn't here. She's working from home, Jean Ann. But uh, we have uh, the machine shop, we can walk through there in a minute. We have two machinists that, that works in there. And um, there's projects that's been um, safety related projects that is quite important Lead, uh, related to uh, another building that we have that uh, they're working at home collaborating and um, doing a layout for that and it's for the students. And um, hopefully, we can get that accomplished in the next week or so. Is that ENR? Yes, that is ENR. Okay. Which is, um, which, is uh, which is an old building. It's an old building, and it's very disorganized. Okay. And um, it's one of those things that no one wants to tackle because it's such a large task. So we're we're we, we're taking advantage of this opportunity for those two guys to take that on and um, see if we can get it done. Excellent. Okay, and let's walk through the uh, shop. Okay. When I, when I came aboard this department, um, I've always had a machine shop with machinists that work for me. And the first thing I noticed, and you can see, you don't see machine shops as clean as this. No, this is beautiful. You know, and this is not just because of the COVID-19. This, this is how is, you do it all the time. This is normal operation. This is what the shop looked like. When they left, they didn't even have to clean up. They just, this is what they do every day. So um, you've got lathes, surface grinders, brakes behind you. There's welding over here. Now this equipment supports research. Does it also support uh, our academic uh, enterprise, student projects? and? It, it, it supports um, the students with capstone. Okay. If there's research that's going on, um, we will charge them to, to do the work. Um, only because there's a cost involved to operate this equipment, and as the equipment wears down, we may need to replace it. So we need sure. to have a fund to take care of those things. Sure, that's standard practice. Yes, but the students, we support 100%. Without cost. Without cost. You have your milling machines, CNC machines, ore mills, lathes, uh, a lathe, CNC, just everything that you could want in a machine shop. On top of that, we have a, a, a small wood shop over here. Okay. You're welcome to look at that. I'm not sure that many people in the college are familiar with this uh, area um, back here. This is this is, this is the largest shop in this university. And uh, one of the things that I do 
is with our safety manager, I said, this should be our poster child, this shop. Every machine in here needs to be safe. It has to be guarded. It has to have all the safety precautions in there. So we've gone through the shop and done that. And if it's not done as of yet, it's in the work. Outstanding. So I, I, I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of introduce to some and remind others that we're here. We're here to the su support the seven departments and uh, the, the, the 11 buildings that the College of Engineering owns. We are there to support everyone in those buildings. And even if it's not a College of Engineering building, if you're there and you're a College of Engineering staff, we will support you. Outstanding. So as we, uh, as we end our tour, Chris, any final thoughts um, for the faculty and staff who, you know, who probably really wish that they were here on campus but can't be? Well, um, we got to keep moving forward. We can't let this stop us. So um, uh, necessity is the author of invention, they say. Indeed. So we, we, we want to continue to think outside the box and come up with solutions to make sure that what we do keeps turning. This wheel keeps turning. Very good. Okay? So, so uh, I just want to say thank you for allowing us to showcase the department. Again, we're here to support all of you. Sure. And on behalf of the faculty and staff and students, you know, thank you for all that you do. And uh, I also want to thank you for, you know, for being careful, for wearing your masks, for wearing your gloves. And uh, I noticed that there are very few people here and that those who are here are also uh, um, being safety conscious. So I appreciate that. Most definitely. Th thanks, Chris. Take thank care. Bye-bye. All right.